Okay, so this is the SWRF antenna coil. This is for the MW, okay? For the MWRF coil, there is a video linked below to teach you how to create it correctly. There are also videos to teach you how to create the FMRF coils and all necessary radio IFTs. All the videos linked below plus this video are one group that is unique and very important to be watched and to obtain valuable information from them. So please, it is necessary to watch them all. Now, there are two types of the antenna coil of the shortwave. One of them is the larger one, this one, from range 2.6 to 20 megahertz. The other type is the smaller one and the smaller range from 5 to 22 megahertz. They all have similarities and some differences that we can actually tackle in this episode. Let's start with this, the smaller one. Here, you take this kind of wire. This is the one here. This is the sample that you should usually use. Let me just bring it near to here. The very short, I will actually I will actually tackle through this, that you can find it only also in toroids uh, transformers. But here, this uh, uh, sample in details, cuff, because you can see in the Arabic, was indicated that this is the most suitable one because it has all the characters, okay? Which has 30 centimeters equals to 0.2 ohms. Once you obtain the sample wire you can actually buy through in line then you do two turns with this direction start from here and go down this is the first turn and from back this is the second turn two turns now with no spaces between okay those are three coils so this is the first coil okay this is the first coil and then when you finish you take the wire like this and you color it as blue okay then you start another coil and color the, the beginning as orange or page. Then you do five turns. Between each one and the other is four millimeters. Four millimeters. Okay. Once you finish the turn number five, look, this is one, two, three, five. Once you finish it from here, then you make another where but you connect them after actually you color them by black color and you do two turns one two and you make the space between them the same as four millimeters the whole coil should be about 2.2 centimeters in long okay after you finish the last coil which is number three after you finish it the end of it connected to the first one here and now you get the beginning here of the first coil colored with red so now you have red blue page and black okay that is the first type which is the uh, smaller than the other one the diameter of this uh, actually root is about one centimeters as for the larger one you start with the same of course the same sample which is, but you here, you have only two coils. So the coil number one, you have two turns. You do the two turns by starting like this. You start from here, and this is the beginning. You color it this time here as black, because actually those are the standard colors. So this is the black one. You start from here, and you begin the winding with the same direction as before. So, one, two. Now you have two turns. The end of it, you color it with the blue and you connect it to uh, anywhere, but color it as blue. Now the distance from the first coil to the second coil, three millimeters. So you jump three millimeters or you leave three millimeters and you start the second coil. The second coil actually should be now colored with orange color. 
and you do 15 turns okay between each turn and the other is one millimeter space okay when you end the end of it you color it with green as it's written here actually that the the start of coil one and the end of coil two they don't have any color actually so the start of wire one here or coil one and the end of coil two which is this one here okay and this one here is said that they have no color but i said put this as a black and put this as green it's better to be green but they have no colors he said here the end of uh, coil one is a blue and the start of coil two is red yeah this is coil number one the end of it is a blue and the start of uh, coil number two which is 15 turns is red so he said here coil one has two turns and the length is eight centimeters actually if you do the two turns with no space you will get eight centimeters coil number two is 15 turns in between each one and the other is about one millimeters you will get 75 centimeters that is all the necessary information about the two types of the uh, shortwave antenna rf antenna coil <laughs>